Are we Android or iPhone people? Really? I try to stay away from that whole I experience. iPhone, iPad, iPod, iTouch. <laughs> then I was in the Apple store when it was being robbed. And automatically, I became an eyewitness. <laughs> Do you multitask on your phones? Do two things at once on your phone, multitask? Because sometimes I use my GPS while I'm listening to my Bible program. And I hear things like, Moses said to the Israelites, make a right on 684. <laughs> With these cell phones, do you know you can have a distinctive ringtone for each and every person in your contact list? Did you know that? <laughs> and if you have a distinctive ringtone for each and every person in your contact list, you need a life. <laughs> That's a lot of programming. I have one ringtone. There's I one ringtone for everybody. I don't mind sharing it with you. If you have a distinctive ringtone on your cell phone, I'd love to hear it. The last show I asked that question, this woman said, yes, my ringtone is a cash register. It's for my daughter. <laughs> Whenever she calls, my phone goes cha-ching. <laughs> one guy said his ringtone was a foghorn. It was for his ex-wife. <laughs> Whenever she called, his phone went mm -hmm. So anybody have one? You have one? Okay, I'll give you mine. My ringtone is from Blazing Saddles. <laughs> Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles. Now, if you haven't seen Blazing Saddles, try to see it. It's a wonderful family movie. <laughs> My ringtone is from the part where Cleavon Little takes himself hostage to keep the white town folk from shooting him. That's my ringtone. <laughs> and I have that because I thought it would be so cool if somebody called me on my phone off in public. And it wasn't until they called me when I was at the airport going through security. <laughs> that was not cool. <laughs> I record all of my shows, and I'd like to give you a copy, give you a chance to get a copy of my biggest selling CD. It's called Shows for Those Who Are There. <laughs> I record all of my shows because I never know when I might need an alibi. <laughs> And sometimes alibis don't work, and I actually need witnesses. So, hold it. Let me get this side over here. Hold it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Great. Could you guys just squeeze in on the ends, please? Just squeeze in. Gang, 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 gang. Great. Now, let's see, what is your name, sir? Nathan. Nathan, would you help me out, Nathan? In case the police. Don't believe the picture I just took of everybody here. Would you take a picture of me with my camera? There's that silver button on the end, and make sure you got the curtain in the background to prove I was here. Where's the newspaper? Great. Now you know how police are, Nathan. Take the side profile, too. <laughs> Excellent. Give Nathan a round of applause, won't you, please? So do you live in the Provo area? And where, where do you live? Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Okay, the reason why I ask these questions is in case I needed a witness, I wanted to know where I had to come get you. But I've never been to Portland, so I'm glad I have your fingerprints on my camera. 